Who do you say that I am? A 40-day adventure in God, ancient of days. Daniel 7 verse 9. As I looked, thrones were set in place, and the ancient of days took his seat. His clothing was as white as snow, his hair on his head was white like wool. His throne was flaming with fire, and all its wheels were all ablaze. Daniel 7, 13 and 14. In my vision at night I looked, and there before me was one like a son of man, coming with the clouds of heaven. He approached the Ancient of Days and was led into his presence. He was given authority, glory, and sovereign power. All peoples, nations, and men of every language worshipped him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away. His kingdom is one that will never be destroyed. Hebrews 7, 15 and 16. And we have, see, have said even more clear, if another priest like Melchizedek appears, one who has become a priest not out of the basis of regulation as to his ancestry, but on the basis of the power of an indestructible life. Revelation 1, 14. His head and his hairs were white like snow, as white as snow, and his eyes were a flaming fire. The Ancient of Days speaks of something that is outside time, that God is outside time. And our attempts to understand him usually come very quickly to, to grief as we just cannot comprehend who he is and all of heaven, heaven holds. But in this beautiful picture, we see two very clear things. We see the Ancient of Days seating on his throne and the one like the Son of Man coming to him. But we also see the description of the Ancient of Days being identical to the description of Jesus in Revelation. We see that God is manifest in his Son. Not that he is another, but they are one. But then we also see that the kingdom of God is on the earth through Jesus Christ. He has given to him the kingdom, the indestructible kingdom, and we serve the Ancient of Days, the one who holds the key to all time, the one that holds the key to everything, because it tells us that his kingdom will never pass away. His kingdom will never be destroyed. And Jesus has the right to rule because he is the one that has the power of an indestructible life.